And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner, he weighed in at 70 kilograms, making his semi-pro mixed martial arts debut, representing Scorpion's Gym. Please put your hands together for Sibu Florian. His opponent this evening, fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 70 kilograms. He has a record of one win, no losses, representing Nova Forza. Please put your hands together for Dan Green. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a semi-pro mixed martial arts lightweight contest to be held at two four-minute rounds. In the blue corner, Sibo Florin from the Scorpion Gym. Dan Green, one win from his only outing with Nova Forza. Obviously, very good camp there, Nick. Very good camp. And Dan Green looks like he's got a bit of extra weight on his opponent. Let's see if that plays a factor. Yes, ma match made at lightweight here. Sirbo does look in excellent condition here, making his debut for the Scorpion Gym. And Green immediately to the centre of the cage. High point kick from that lead left leg. Sets out his intent. Shoots in. Beautiful takedown and a huge slam by Mr. Green. And Staying. Then when, you, when you see a kick like that and you think, oh, he looks good upright, then he suddenly goes in for the shoot and a slam. That's a well-schooled fighter. It's perfectly timed and he's got side control here. He's taking his time, making sure he doesn't lose the position. Sirbo's got to try and get his guard back. But at the moment, it looks like he's just hanging on to Dan Green's head. He'll be better off letting go of that. But he's done well to scramble, show some great athleticism. And he's still got his head. Yes, good work, as you said there, from Sirbo Florin making his debut here. He stayed very calm and, and a nice reversal there from him. Mark Woodard, our referee, looking closely to make sure there's enough work going on. And I think that's important in the semi-professional game, Nick, because you're not allowed to ground and pound, because you can't hit the face, you've got to be working when you're on the ground, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's still got that head and he's looking for a guillotine. It's very unorthodox. He's obviously a very strong man. Well, he did look excellently conditioned, that was sure. Difficult to tell from where we're sitting. But the key here, Nick, is Mark is happy for it to go on, so he must think he had a chance, but now there's a reversal from... Dan Green, but picking up my point, because Mark was happy, he must have felt there was opportunity there for Sibo. That's right. I mean, they keep reversing one another. This Rear naked here, possibly, if he can turn him. Dan Green needs to scramble to secure being on his back, otherwise he's going to end up on guard. He's going for a side choke, I believe. There was a headshot, which is not allowed in the semi-pro rules, so the referee, Mark, is just warning him. Armbar attempt here. Sibo needs to watch out for his left arm. Dan is looking for it. He's got it. Sibo pushes up. And he's trying, he's trying for the slam as well. He needs to use his right hand to break the legs open of his opponent. Create some space. He could step across here. Good job there. Is he going to take the back? Well, Nick, again, we mentioned earlier in the evening, we've already seen an impressive debut. And again, win or lose, this is an impressive debut from Florin here. Yeah, if Florin is not a grappler, then he's, not, he's got to be careful not to get sucked into Dan's game. He's had many opportunities to stand up, take it back to where he's most comfortable. But in your debut, this happens a lot. You just end up fighting wherever it goes. You forget about your game plan. And that will come with experience, won't it? As we said, it's his first time. You have all these thoughts going through your head, but as you said again now, with his, it's a dangerous game because Dan Green's done well there, hasn't he? Dan obviously looking like he prefers the grappling. He shot in immediately. He's come very close to an armbar and he's again in side control. So Sibo needs to take it to where he's strongest. And I'm sure when he goes back to his round, his corner at the end of this round, he'll be told that. Yes, good work from Dan Green there to turn it around once more. And it was done very calmly, almost very subtly before he knew it. Mount. Sirbo was in trouble again. Got mount position again, but his head's still tied up and that's really restricting his movement. 
He needs to work to free his head up and then go for some missions, otherwise he keeps getting reversed. Silvo looking for that side choke again, but because he's going for these submissions from unusual positions, he can't quite finish them. So with that in mind, because as you said, Green is obviously the grapple. He's obviously the man that wants to be there, but you pointed out just a few little basic mistakes. So how does that affect your scoring unofficially, Nick? Well, it's a difficult one. Obviously, we've got to score the takedown for Dan Green at the beginning, and it was a beautiful slam. But uh, it's just reversed a lot on the floor. So I'd have to give that pressure on to Dan. He came close to the submission as well. Right. But again, let's talk about Sirbo Florin. It's a good debut so far, isn't it? Good debut. Still got plenty of gas in the tank. He's looking confident. I'd like to see what he's got in the stand-up department. Well, he's only got one more round to prove it because this is two four-minute rounds. And as we said before, that's what makes both rounds so key. The first round is so important. Sure, Dan would have got some excellent advice from his corner there. They would have said, get another takedown, secure your position, take your time and work diligently towards a finish. Now that's the key for you, isn't it? Securing the position before you try for the submissions. Exactly, otherwise he, he's just going to get reversed again and then that's just going to waste time and energy. So let's see which game plan will win out in this second round. Will Sirbo test Dan more upright or will Dan go straight in for the shoot once more where he wants to be? Second and final round. Well, there's your answer, Nick. And yep. it was quite easily achieved as well, which is a bit disappointing. Beautiful double leg, timed underneath Sirbo's punches. Picture perfect. Again, Sirbo wrapping up the head. Let's see if Dan frees his head up first, and I'd like to see him transition straight into Kimura, attacking Sirbo's left arm gone to north, his corner's asking him to move to north-south. That's good advice because that will free his head up as well. We often find it when we're watching these fights that when, when you're at one fight, two fight level or debut level, a lot of the times when you shoot or you get the takedowns, there is always that danger for your head. How do you stop that happening as you get more experience? You've got, you've got to keep good posture, head up and no gap between your head and their body. That way they can't wrap their arm around your head. But at the higher levels, really, it's not that big a deal if they wrap your head up if you know what you're doing. And for the person doing it, they could be doing something better. They should be thinking about getting their guard back, for example. But here we go. Dan's got mount. His head is free. Softening him, softening Sibar up with some body shots, and we can expect him to attack an arm. Yes, good work again, as you said from Dan Green here and I think over the two rounds if it persists like this that's I think will sway the judges here for him and keep those winning ways because he has been the aggressor he has been the man looking for the submissions I wouldn't be surprised if he catches the submission he's looking to push Sibo's left arm across maybe to drop for a side choke and he's softening up the ribs with some body shots to help distract him here we go the arm's starting to fold across but he stepped. He he gave up mount a bit too early there. He needs to get his left underhook back. Okay, he's gone back to mount. More shots to the ribs there with the right hand. And the problem for for Sirbo Florin is as this round goes on, in in terms of the judges' eyes, he's in survival mode at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to have to do something big to um, either stop this fight or do something very impressive to win a decision here. But I can't see that happening on the ground, so he needs to work out how to get back to his feet. Yes, I feel this imperative for him because Dan Green is it has been in control from the moment he did the shoot, got down. As you said, that the headlock wasn't a problem for him, and he's been in total control since. Let's see if Sirbo can kick off the cage here, create a scramble, and then get back to his feet. Time is ticking. Dan Green going for a north-south choke here. Sibo scrambles nicely. He needs to get back to his feet. Not get sucked into this grappling game. Well, he's game. gone for a guillotine again here. Nick, he's trying to get it, as you said, from a north of that angle. He's a strong lad. He's trying. You can see he's trying to get it tight. He has got the guillotine. He's got it tight. Again, it's a very unorthodox position, but he's cranking on that neck. It's more of a neck crank. But he's a strong man. Yes, and you, we had a good shot of that, and you're dead right, Nick. He's strong. He's got it on. He's... 
but the moment you feel it's, it's not at this precise moment more than possibly an inconvenience to Dan Green. That's the thing. Dan Green, instead of punching, he should just use his grappling skills, slowly work his way out of these bad positions, treat it like he's in a sparring match with one of his teammates, and really capitalise on his advantage on the ground. And a lot of effort from Sirbo, but I don't think it's the clock ticks in the last 10 seconds. I don't think it's enough from Sirbo Florin for myself. I think the takedown and the... Uh, Close submission in the first round has got to sway this in Dan's favour. I, I tend to agree with you there. But again, very good debut from Sierbo. And for two men with only one fight between them, a very good match. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. And the winner is fighting out of the red corner. Please put your hands together for Dan Green. And a big round of applause for his opponent this evening, Sid Boo Florin.